I don't care if it's new shoppers, old shoppers, veteran shoppers, people who's been doing it way longer than me. I don't care who it is. Nobody in my area is outworking me, period. I seen this opportunity and I was like, what? What? We can make money grocery shopping? What? Give me that. It's too easy. It's too easy. For all my entrepreneur stuff, before Amazon, before I even made this YouTube channel, I was doing landscaping. I was landscaping for like 12 hours a day, making a hundred bucks a day. Then I go from that to being able to like do my entrepreneur stuff online and doing things like grocery shopping in the air condition. And I can make triple, quadruple what I made doing that. You kidding me? I'm not closing down shop. It is what it is. I'm going to milk this for everything that it has. They think in they boxes. Ain't no way to box this. I just do my own thing. That's the trending topic. The first couple months as new shoppers, you get all the batches and then later you see nothing. Hold on. Hold, hold that thought. It's that type of mindset that will keep you down there. Way down there at the bottom looking up at the guys that's making all the money like, how are they doing that? See that type of mindset will keep you down. Don't don't keep yourself down. All right, let me just get, let me just get into it. So, you see this number? I'm about what thirty bucks, thirty one dollars shy of two k this week. And this is on Father's Day, right? Because I didn't want to work all day today because my baby's here. We just do things different. When I first started this, I seen the the pattern. I, I seen the algorithm. Every like I keep telling y'all, they're not human, so it's not psychology. With these systems, it's called an algorithm. And once you learn the algorithm, once you once you manipulate the algorithm, big things and crazy things start to happen in your benefit, okay? I don't wanna sound repetitive, but the algorithm plus psychology, because you are dealing with people, brings, voila, money. Real quick, let me just show you guys some of the screenshots of what Instacart themselves said about me. Priority shopper with the most five-star ratings. And that's in my area, obviously, because that's what they're judging by, out of 3,000 shoppers here in this area. Now, I didn't know that until they told me that. All I did was do it competitively. I wanna be the best. Very competitive. Then, Bella Bella, I, sh I showed her some of the tricks that I use, some of the some of the psychology methods that I use, and boom, she starts crushing it too, making more than me. Check this clip out. Three hundred and twenty-two dollars. Three twenty-two. That's just that's the first stream that goes into the business tonight. That's the chiching. But let's get into Bella's real quick. Yo, Bella, go ahead, man. You're too salty. I'm not salty. You're just, mad. I'm He's not mad. mad. I'm not mad. Can y'all see that? $431.04. I can't make this up, man. I mean, y'all can be skeptical if you want to. It's not gonna hurt me. I'm gonna continue to make this money. Me and Bella are gonna continue to crush it, continue to grow the business, continue to invest all the money. All I'm doing here is trying to motivate you guys and show you guys that there's a way out. I'm trying to show you guys a way out of the rat race with Instacart, right? Or whatever your side hustle is. Now, if you're gonna be a hater, if you're gonna be a non-believer, then that's on you. That's on you. <laughs> you have fun, like, you know what I mean? I don't even need to make these videos. Like, we doing just fine without YouTube. But I'm doing this to try to help everyone out there, try to show everybody out there that, look, dude, we live in a day and age where we can get paid to shop groceries. People, take everything for granted, right? It doesn't matter how easy it gets, someone's gonna find something to complain about. That's just human nature. Dude, literally there could be an app that comes out where we get paid to sleep and somebody's gonna find an excuse for that. Like, well, you know, um, the app just doesn't wanna pay me because the way I, the, the app is just, you know, it, just, it doesn't follow my sleep. It follows everybody else's sleep but my sleep. It's gonna be an excuse for <laughs> It's gonna be an excuse for everything. And look, if you keep doing that, man, I don't know what to tell you. Um, you're not manifesting. You're not manifesting greatness in your life. I'm sorry. Instead of trying to make it work, because look, we have bad taste too with Instacart. Like every day is not perfect. Every day is far from perfect, actually. 
There's some days that we literally work from 6 a.m. Well, we're up at 6 a.m. and start doing batches at like 6.50 all the way till like 8, 9, 10 at night just to hit a certain number. Come on, 14 hours in a day just to hit a certain number. And then when you do the math, it's like you only made like a certain amount per hour, but we don't care. We know what we're trying to do. We know what our goals are. And then there's some days where we hit the number we want to hit in a couple of hours. I've gotten a batch that was $240 for one order. Biggest batch I ever did, I couldn't believe it. When I shook it, my thumb was, I was like shaking. Like, I was like, yo, I think I'm having an anxiety attack. Did I really just swipe what I think I swiped? I was freaking out, right? Couldn't believe it. But there's some days that's gonna be like that. And then there's some days where you're not gonna see anything. I'm not gonna blame Instacart. I'm not gonna blame the new shoppers. I'm not gonna blame Joe Schmo over there that swiped the 70 that I thought I had but I know I've seen it before him, but he swiped it. I'm not gonna blame him. I'm gonna blame my thumb not being fast enough. Even though I know, I, you know, I seen it first, I, I'm just gonna blame myself. But we do understand that new shoppers come in and get dibs. We do not let it stop us from getting that money. So what I came up with and what I told my people, right, my circle, I was like, check this out. Cause we think the same thing. New shoppers get the best batches and the veterans kind of get like pushed to the side. So I was like, okay, wait a minute. What do new shoppers have different that veterans don't? They have a fresh system. I'm not talking about just a fresh start with Instacart. I'm talking about a fresh system. When they download the app and they first install it and they first set up the GPS to the app, it's fresh. So their ping, in other words, is like fresh, right? And they get these good batches. So I said, yo, why don't we just restart our apps, restart the system, restart the phone, restart everything, you know, like once a week, twice a week, or once a month, whatever. And that's what we've been doing, and we still see good batches. Once again, do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? Come on, that's my week. That's my week, Father's Day weekend. And the only reason why it's not 2000 is because I'm not gonna work the whole Father's Day with my daughter here, you feel me? I can't make this up, man. I'm not a bot. Right, I'm not a new shopper, right? I've been doing this for over a year. I have the most batches completed in the shortest amount of time, and this is coming from Instacart's mouth. Out of 3,000 shoppers, I just won't let anyone outwork me. That is just it. I'm not letting anyone, not any of you guys, even though I love y'all, I love the fam, but I'm not gonna let none of y'all outwork me. Y'all have to have that same mindset. I don't care if it's new shoppers, old shoppers, veteran shoppers, people who's been doing it way longer than me. I don't care who it is. Nobody in my area is outworking me, period. I seen this opportunity and I was like, what? What? We can make money grocery shopping? What? Give me that. That's all mines. That's all mines. And, and y'all can sit there and complain about being new or not being new. It was good at one point and Instacart's whack now. Look, y'all can keep complaining. Whoever wants to complain, go ahead, keep complaining. But I'ma keep grinding. I'm not letting anyone outwork me. I'ma keep, I'ma keep making the money. And like I told one of my boys, he went through some, he went through a bad period where he really was not seeing any badges. Like I seen it with my own eyes. His rating wasn't so hot, but even when he got it hot again, he wasn't seeing the best batches and then he was like quitting half the day and you know, for weeks straight. And I just told him like, I, like I'm about to tell all you guys. I said, look, think of yourself like a store. Let's say Costco's for example. Everybody knows Costco's. There's a Costco's everywhere. Let's say Costco's is having a super horrible day, right? They're open from X AM to X PM. But that day, only like two customers came in that day. Are they gonna close the door? Are they gonna close down and, and stop the shop? Or are they just gonna keep going? Regardless if there's two customers or a thousand customers or 10,000 customers, they're gonna keep going. Just because you're not seeing good batches right now, you're gonna close down your shop. That's what you're telling me? So I'm not gonna do Instacart because I don't see good batches anymore. Well, close it down then, you're out of business. There was a point in time where I didn't see anything and I still made something with this app. I've been through the trenches. I know all everything about this. I've been through it all. But one thing I never did was close down shop because it's just too liquid. It's too easy. 
it's too easy. For all my entrepreneur stuff, before Amazon, before I even made this YouTube channel, I was doing landscaping. I was landscaping for like 12 hours a day, making a hundred bucks a day. Then I go from that to being able to like do my entrepreneur stuff online and doing things like grocery shopping in the air condition. And I can make triple, quadruple what I made doing that. You kidding me? I'm not closing down shop. It is what it is. I'm gonna milk this for everything that it has. I'm gonna milk this. And then even if that is the case, even if it is, you only see good batches when you start up, right? Well, get somebody you know, a family, a relative, a friend to, that doesn't do Instacart and start up an account, get them to start it up, make money with them. New shopper stage, right? Milk it. If that's what you believe, it, that you only can make money at the beginning, well then start it up again and milk it at the beginning, but do right with your money. Three months of new shopping batches. <laughs> what are you doing with that 24,000? What are you doing with all the, with any of the money that you made with Instacart? Do you even have any of it left? I, just do my all I might just set up a different private group thing. You know what I mean? Cause I don't want, I don't want to deal with no haters. Like, like that's bad energy. We don't, we don't vibe with bad energy.